Hello everyone, my name is Prashant and the topic for today's video is Introduction to Packer Part 2. So in the first part, you have understand what Packer is, how to install it and we have dived a little bit into the like how to create a template uh, using JSON as well as we compare it with the SCL version 2. But in this part, let's start diving into it and let's start building our first Packer image using uh, builder equal to uh, Amazon EBS. Okay. So we are going to use this same example, but first using JSON. Okay. So let's take this example. Okay. Let's start building by ourselves. So let's take this. Okay. And then we need to specify builders right and builders is a list okay that means you can specify the multiple builders and type in this case is going to be amazon ebs okay comma then region where exactly we want to build the this builder and we want to build this in uh, where we want to create this AMI, we want to build it in US West 2. Then, like I mentioned last time, once uh, Amazon, uh, this packer is going to use this, uh, use, going to use this builder, it is going to spin up the instance. So what is the type of that instance? So I'm going to use t2.micro because it comes under free tier. The next thing is when it comes up, okay, which username it is going to use to connect to that instance. So in this case, I am using EC2 hyphen user because I'm going to use the uh, Amazon machine image, AMI. Then, like I mentioned last time, we need to specify the source AMI. And to get the source AMI, let's go to the AWS console. Go to EC2, go to launch instance and remember that, that the AMI ID is different based on region. So when you are going to do the launch instance, this AMI ID, last one is F538. If you go to some other region, for example, North California. See, this is different. So there it is F538, here it is 90E46. So remember, depending upon the region, this AMI ID is going to be different. So source AMI is this. Okay. And what will be the name of your AMI which Packer is going to build? AMI name. And my AMI name will be Packer hyphen. Uh, demo okay and then timestamp so like i mentioned in the last video this timestamp is going to give it a unique name based on the current timestamp okay so this is a simple code now if you go to their official documentation we have mentioned all these parameters they have specified the variables, okay? And AWS access key ID or secret access key ID. Actually, the way I have configured this ID is using AWS configure. So Packer will read even your AWS configuration and from there it will pick up the access key as well as secret key. So I don't need to specify these parameters, okay? So now we have everything in place. The first command that I'm going to run it's called packer okay validate and this packer.json okay if there is no syntax error then uh, you will see that you will not get any output let me create a syntax error for example this and as you can see packer is smart enough to know that there is a syntax error in the file and you need to add i, I will add back that comma okay and I'm naming this file as packer.json. 
So let me validate it again. Everything looks good. Now, in order to build the image, you need to uh, um, use the command called packer build. And if you can see, packer does not have a handful means have a handful of options like build, console, fix, format. We are going to look at these one by one. Okay, so let's say packer. build and then find it okay so now packer will perform a series of steps so as you can see it's pre-validating any vpc information so for this simple use case we haven't specified any vpc configuration which means i did not specify any subnet group but you can specify even the subnet information it's validating the ami name so for example it, it is checking that if such kind of ami with the this name exists uh, so this is what we have gave given and then the timestamp parameter added this value then it will going to validate that the ami which we have given exists or not so it's doing all these kind of a basic check now uh, like i mentioned it is going to create an instance for example this t2.micro and on that t2.micro to connect to the t2.micro it's going to create this key okay and this is just a temporary key which packet is going to uh, wipe it out once the um, image creation is done and on the top of that this key exists only in the memory but there are ways through which you can can, uh, can put that key in a disk so for example, in this case, I have run this command called packer build packer.json. Okay. But if I run this command in something called a debug mode, then while performing all these steps, packer is going to pause and ask me that whether I want to perform this step or not. And in that case, in the same directory where we, I have this packer.json, packer is going to write this file, this key. Okay. Then in order to connect to that instance, which packer is creating temporarily, packer is going to create this security group with port 22 open for the world. Okay. And once again, as I mentioned, it's a temporary security group and packer is going to wipe it out once it's done with the image creation. Now it's going to launch a source instance with this. So let me show you with the help of AWS console. So if you go here, go here, go here. Actually, by the time we have reached Packer already stopped that instance, this one. Okay. So it created this instance. Okay. And waiting for this instance to be up, stopping the source instance, stopping instance, waiting for the instance to be stopped. So what Packer did, it created this instance. Then in order to create an AMI before or before creating that AMI, it stopped that instance. Okay. And now it's deleting that temporary key, deleting the security group is doing all the cleanup. And now it's created this AMI for me. So if you go to AMI section, see Packer demo, the AMI that Packer has just created. Okay. So this is how you are going to, uh, how we have created our first AMI using Packer. Okay. Now let's take a look at the same example, but this time using uh, SCL version 2. And I mean, it's nothing is going to be changed. It's a little bit different, but let's see. Okay. And rather than me typing all those, let me copy paste that. So please make sure the file name should be, uh, for example, packer.pkr.scl. 
your file extension should be pkr.stl in order for stl version in order for packer to read this file the file extension should be like this okay now let me copy paste this it's going to be the same code the only difference is, is going to be use the uh, the stl version 2 syntax so here you can see my source is amazon ebs so for example think of it like a if you know terraform in terraform we define the resource like this right and then this is a variable which we can use to reference this particular source the same region the same uh, then we specify the ami the instance type the ssh username and again the ami name which packer is going to create okay now the catch is in order to run this right we need to specify something called a build so we need to specify the build and which build which we which we want to run so we need to specify the source and the source is source dot amazon ebs dot my example the source so which means you can specify the multiple source here and if this is a list you can specify it with a comma separated value okay now in order to run this it's going to be the same thing but now you can do few more things so for example packer format if you remember in case of uh, terraform you have a format option so if you want to format this file you can do it packer pkr.scl okay there is nothing required means in this there is no formatting is required let me do something let me do this and as you can see it formatted the file okay see it bring it back okay now in order to run it packer okay same build and packer dot pkr dot stl okay. everything will be same it's just that it's a much cleaner syntax okay so it's create it is creating that instance this time let's check that instance so it is creating here you will see this instance ee20 ee20 once the instance become ready it is going to stop that instance and once that is been done see it's created now it's stopping the instance waiting for instance to stop and then it's going to create the ami for us okay still Okay, still waiting for yeah now it's stopped and now it's creating this ami so if we go here refresh it see it is creating this ami okay let's this ami creation to be done and then let me show you one more thing while this is in progress let me go to the other terminal okay let me go to something called packer hyphen temp. So you see we have this packer.json, right? Which we have created. And now we have packer.pkr.scl. And in the first video I have mentioned that uh, now what the creator of this packer tool or the HashiCorp corporation, they are asking people to that the SCL2 is a preferred way to write the Packer configuration. So if you look here, and if I run just Packer command, there is something called SCL2 upgrade, which what it is going to do, it is going to transform your JSON template into SCL2 configuration. So let's run that Packer2 SCL. Uh, Okay, 
and then packer dot json okay so as you can see it created this file and if i look here packer dot json dot pkr dot scl or let me open it So see, it has bunch of other stuff, but it is basically the same thing, okay, with other, with this information. So it created this local, some local variable, then everything that what we have done, and then in the build field, it's using this as a parameter, okay. So what I'm trying to tell you, if you have your JSON file, which you want to convert in the SCL format dot pk means in the SCL version 2. So pack, uh, the HashiCorp will provide you this tool through which you can do that. Okay. And in the meanwhile, let's see if our build creation, yeah, it has created the image, the, the other image which we are trying to create. Okay. So this is little bit about how to create an image using Packer using JSON as well as the SCL version 2. In the next video, we are going to see one important feature which is called provisional. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any question, please mention in the comment section. I will try my best to answer those questions. Thanks once again.